Hi everyone, I'm Jessie from here at the University of Adelaide um, and I've only got three minutes so I'm just going to get straight into it. So I just wanted to begin by painting a picture of what the average Australian sees when they're in the bush. Not many mammals at all. But in the past, we know from the fossil record that there was a huge diversity of small mammals. Every mammal in this picture uh, represents one species each and is most of the small mammals that were originally present in the Narracourt region. And it's probably no surprise to many of you, but there has been a huge decline in small mammal species um, and their distribution since European settlement. We don't really know what their original distributions were before they declined um, or what their original preferred habitats were. We also don't know how the remaining living species will respond to climate change. So we need a baseline for this. And the fossil record can provide that. The Narracourt Caves World Heritage Area in the southeast of South Australia, um, like what Liz has just been talking about, has a huge diversity of small mammal species present in these cave fossil deposits, all of which survived up until European settlement, with many still alive today. In total, there have been 39 small mammal species recorded from these fossil deposits, and 14 of these are considered threatened or worse and require conservation um, efforts now or are likely to in the near future. So Narracourt has multiple cave fossil sites um, that cover nearly continuously the last 500,000 years, um, and multiple fossil deposits that cover the same period of time, um, like these two here, Bat Cave and Blanche Cave, which Liz has just mentioned. Um, and these both cover approximately from about 70,000 years ago, continuously up to about 13,000 years ago. And these fossil deposits have an abundance of small mammal fossils. And when that's paired with dates and climate proxies, we can look at how individual species responded to climate change through time. And this provides the critical baseline of the resilience of the many small mammal species that are still alive today to climate change for long, continuous periods of tens of thousands of years in a single location. It also provides us with the original fauna from the region um, from before European settlement um, and an insight into the original habitats from the region as well. So highly resolved fossil deposits are a vital tool for understanding critical information about small mammals and for planning about their futures and which species may be at risk to climate change. Um, I'd just like to thank my supervisors and all involved in this project and that's my time up. So thank you and feel free to ask me any questions later or...